Hey everybody, this is not a spring check and the big news today is, of course, well, we've been here, at, you know, talking about the Sundance Film Festival and the media this year have talked about, okay, so they mentioned it before, but they've been focusing on income inequality in an area where, let's just say, you need to have a little bit of dough. Hmm. And guess what happened when one of the fat cats said, what, they believed in it and they, well, you can only guess what happened. Well, for now, we're going to bring all Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, the Democrats have now said they fully expect to not only keep the Senate, but take the House because red states, the voter registration is going to overwhelm the Republicans in, in red states. They're going to become blue. The only problem being with that is they picked up a couple of guys in Texas that were illegally registering people that aren't citizens. They're uninvited guests and they were registering them because they said now the law is such that uh, it's the ambiguity of the law is such now that you can't tell who can vote from who can't vote. And they weren't breaking any law. Well, yes, they were, and the Supreme Court will eventually hand the Democrats their heads on who can vote and who can't. Press asked the tough questions about income inequality at Sundance. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, for five days they've been asking the people on the left who have been giving scripted, they're all saying the same things, that we've got to do this, we've got to do that. We have to take money, if need be, we need to take money from the wealthy and give it to those that don't have it to adjust the problems. So one reporter got tired of getting the same, you know, he got bored with getting the same answers to the same questions, so he asked him, you know, a simple change in it. He said, well, if you believe in income inequality so much, then why don't you set an example for others and only take a living wage instead of charging as much money as you currently do? And that ended any interviews that he was getting from anybody because that was not the question. Remember? Um, oh, were they supposed to be scripted questions? Yeah, well, they weren't supposed to be scripted answers, which they were. I mean, they get talking points from the party, but Mark Twain said it once, you're, you're always welcome to give away the other person's money, but not so willing to give away your own. And Bill O'Reilly once again voiced his support for the president. Oh yeah, he's doing everything. Uh, the Iran deal was a first step forward because we can we can move on this to make certain that they're uh, they're not the enemy to the world that they were. And then he's very proud of the president because not once in his five years as president has he ever used race. Uh, to get anything done. Well, basically the Iranians have snookered everybody because this morning they just sent warships into the deep Atlantic where we're at. And uh, second, they sent their um, they sent their uh, minister of foreign affairs to a countries that, uh, to uh, honoring people that have killed Americans and Jews. And third, the president of the United States continually uses race as a weapon against the Republicans. You think that they would have nominated? Uh, Romney or McCain if they hadn't have been afraid of somebody saying the wrong politically incorrect things and, and having the press be mad at them. Mm -hmm. And if you're not to the left, get out of New York. See, so the governor as he prepares to run for president. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, they, yesterday they said that he, that people couldn't believe it, that they said there's no place in the state of New York for people that are anti-abortion, don't believe in gay marriage, don't believe in uh, immigration reform, and don't believe in serious gun control. Mm -hmm. other, you know, other than that, don't come to our state and live. And that was, they've been trying to explain it since, yeah, that's not, it was misinterpreted. And even the guy on the, one of the people on the left, he said that, did, did he or did he not read this from a script he had in his hand and then hand it out to the press personally? And they said, well, yes. Then how in the hell could we misinterpret those words that he said? He said he, he's running for president and he wants to swing to the left because he thinks that that's the, the way to go since Hillary has already damaged merchandise. And Obama thinks pot is as safe as booze. I know. He doesn't recommend, recommend you drink booze, but if you have to do something, then smoke pot because the, you know, he used to do it a lot when he was younger. This is, this is a good study was out today. 50% of the people in the NFL before football games use marijuana, which is supposedly a banned substance. Mm -hmm. And they correlate the use of marijuana with, um, break with uh, concussions. The more marijuana you use, the more likely you are to have a concussion. 50, more than 50% are doing it. Concussions are up. Guess how that correlates. Mm -hmm. Nevada Marine has been safe despite 100,000 fish killed. Um, something killed them, folks. Mm -hmm. First of all, the rotting fish alone is enough to pollute the marina. So, I mean, 
I mean, it's cold as heck in, in that marina, so you're not going to jump, you shouldn't be jumping off of a boat. But still, that many dead fish, something killed them. And mining could devastate Alaska's Bristol Bay salmon. Um, they've been mining there for, for a century, and it basically, to put it this way, the salmons are not ocean-run salmons. These are salmons that are basically farm salmons. They're put in the water by the federal government or by hatcheries. They're not there normally. And Obama says terror threat, not that big a deal since it killed bin Laden. Oh, I know. They said he basically enraged everybody, including Dianne Feinstein, that these people, there's nothing to worry about these people because they're the JV of, of, of Al-Qaeda. And Al, they have no power, like was it one of the Democrats said yesterday, oh, in other words, instead of killing 102 people, they only kill 99 people. That makes them less of a threat. Mm -hmm. That was a Democrat that said that one. And just how long is 35 feet? Even the Supreme Court isn't sure. It's what? 35 feet, exactly. That's how long 35 feet well, is. Well, it measures out to 35 feet. But what's happening is, is people are suing businesses like the, the, the subway foot long is only uh, nine inches long. It's not a foot. But then they're saying, no, it is a foot long. That is the size of a foot. Oh, And therefore, they never said a foot and 12 inches, they said a foot long, and that's how they used to measure things with, with feet. That's and, true, they did. And it's the size of the foot of the person that created the foot long. Oh, actually, that's kind of a cool little story. Yeah. A cool little trivia. Um, and China starts building a second aircraft carrier. I know, they can't, there's nobody that knows how to fly out the first one, so they're building a second one. But basically what's going to happen, um, here's what a person said, it is going to take a decade to undo what this president has done to the military. And what's going to happen is God, what Jimmy Carter did, the Democrats was destroyed the military, and it took a spending program not under Reagan, but under Carter. And it was Reagan, Carter, and uh, Reagan, Bush, and Carter to rebuild the damage that had been done because, I mean, the carrier fleet we have now, we owe to, um, uh, to, uh, Bill Clinton, not to the Democrats, because he basically knew we needed air power. And um, they basically shut everything down, and it's been shut down again. And the wealthy are freeing China, or fleeing China. Oh, God. <laughs> not freeing, fleeing. I, I was reading the thing like um, there's so much Chinese, actually, it's American money, it's all in dollars because. Because we gave them the money. <laughs> they're basically taking the money in cash and fleeing the country. So, um, the, you know, the. We're, we're planning to do something about that, folks. And airfares continue to rise of 12% since 2009. Yeah, and uh, it's not actually airfares, it's the cost to fly in an airplane because right now from San Francisco to Los Angeles and back can run you almost $400. Not because what? of the airfare, but because of the, they said because of the fees that are being charged to go with it. And Turkmenistan to pay, make people pay for gas. Yeah, but they used to get it free because they got so much of it, but now they're not making as much money. They were lucky to get it for free. Yeah. Um, USA was responsible for pollution in China. Well, yeah, I heard, I loved that one yesterday. The reason you can't see anything in China is because of the uh, Americans polluting the atmosphere in China. <laughs> and Iran has been weakened by our president's foreign policy. Uh, that's what Bill O'Reilly said yesterday. Hmm. And U.S. immigration reform advocates see new hope in 2014. That chance. And U.S. driver acquitted of a Google Glass ticket. Uh, because there's no law against it, but unfortunately, I've seen people run into things wearing Google Glasses, so that's going to... When I you think you say they're distracted? They were distracted because they're having to look through the glass and the road at the same time, you can't do it. It's just like um, no depth perception anymore. Uh, and yet another cat of Obamacare delayed because it can't be made to work. Well, you know, they can't, they can't enforce the uh, discrimination part of it because they don't know how to enforce it because how do you tell if somebody has something? They said that you can't write into a contract that an executive can have a health care policy that's better than the uh, person cleaning the toilet. So. And um, the U.N. warns against delayed action on global warming. I, I know, that's Obama's attack again. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, even the uh, strong eventually don't get up again. Think of that. Ha, <laughs>